Good morning, everybody. Um, gonna try uh, try to buy some building materials again. <laughs> Monday morning. Uh, just past eight. Paolo is already there. <laughs> I'm a little late. So this construction yard is uh, just outside uh, Zazedish. He had uh, the tiles for the roof and the concrete blocks for the building. It's not concrete, uh, concrete it's the red blocks, the building blocks and the uh, cement. So cement and, uh, and sand. And he's going to deliver it for free. <laughs> um, Wednesday. Wednesday in the morning, 9 o'clock. Um, this is also when I pay him. I didn't need to pay anything up front. He just comes, bring it, I pay him. So uh, this was actually uh, the cheapest tiles I found anywhere for the roof. Um, I'll let you know uh, a quick recap when I'm back at the house. Now going to shop for uh, lambrim, wood, and battens, and the uh, isolamento. Oh yes, and the treatment for the wood. See you in a bit. So this shop was like the local DIY store. Um, I uh, bought here the treatment for the wood, nil zone, very dirty stuff. And the insulation, they have very big rolls, I'll show you, it's in the back. And what more did I buy? Ah, the, um, the device for hoisting the beams, that's also in the back, I'll show you when I get home. So actually, uh, a very successful day. Great success! So that was the guy um, for the wood. Mostly he does the wood for uh, carpentry stuff not like beams and stuff like that um, so I got the price for some battens um, and uh, we need to call him later on for the price for the lambrim so Paolo is gonna call him and he's gonna let me know afterwards so you lose some you win some Uh, still not getting uh, very close to me, uh, he or she. From the face I think it's a boy, but I don't uh, have much experience. <laughs> um, it does enjoy the, the food and the water, I, uh, I give it. These are my friends, Stefano and Chantal. They came all the way from Holland to help me with the house. And also to have a little bit of a holiday. As you can see, they're pretty nervous for the camera still. But uh, I have no doubts that in two weeks, uh, this will definitely change. <laughs> can you see they're uh, rocking the new um, Portugal Project t-shirt? <laughs> Posing for my, uh, my merch. <laughs> 
outside. <laughs> Fashion. Fashion. <laughs> Fashion by the Portugal project. Okay, so apparently it turns uh, only left. <laughs> Good morning. Um, yeah, look at this. I got a fruit basket. Um, vegetable basket. <laughs> um, my neighbors from the next village, um, very nice people also from Holland. Uh, they came and bring me uh, just a lot of veggies, fruit. You can see, um, this is the family uh, we passed through with my sister on the Exploring Ghost Town video. And they just came around and uh, gave me a lot of fruit that they get from their uh, that they get from their neighbor. They still have one uh, Portuguese guy in their uh, in their town. And yeah, pretty good, huh? Uh, so thank you, uh, Wendy, Peter Willem, uh, Nikki, Tessa, and Tigo. And they were here the other day. Um, we did some swimming in the pool. Uh, also, Wendy gave me this tip about um, the problem I have with the ants. Um, let me show you. Look, these are my paprika plants. Yeah, that uh, doesn't look very good, huh? They were also jumping over to other plants. Uh, because these also have it. What? And when he gave me this tip about um, this very fine sugar with... Um, what is this called in English? Uh, I'll just show it on the screen what it's called in English. But um, it's a mixture of two things, and they should, um, because there's sugar in it, they take it, but the other part is not uh, good for them. But I don't know if it's working, because uh, I put yesterday, I put a lot of this uh, stuff here, and now it's uh, eaten, but the ants are still here. So if anybody of you have any idea what to do about these ants, uh, let me know, because um, yeah, this is not good for my plants. Like this, they don't grow. They don't want to grow. So let me know. <laughs> okay, so today, my friends have arrived. Um, still very early. Still on our uh, on our coffee routine. Well, Stefano has actually started already. <laughs> very eager. <laughs> um, so yeah, we set up some cameras and we're finally going to take off the roof. <laughs> um, I'll show you the process. Taking off is not so interesting, <laughs> but it needs to be done. <laughs> finally! <laughs> uh, Tycho also made me a nice dinosaur. Thanks, mate.
Roof tiles incoming. That's a whole bunch of tiles. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, not so late. Uh, what is it? Maybe nine o'clock. Um, hmm. It's starting to look like uh, nothing. Uh, Steve always. Uh, breaking away in the background a lot of cleaning up to do these beams still need to go this beam still needs to go and look at all those tiles <laughs> what in the world are we going to do with that uh delivery yesterday you already saw the tiles for the roof uh, there were also tiles for uh, the, on the top and cement the building blocks and a whole pile of sand <laughs> i never done this before <laughs> making cement so it's going to be a new experience um so loading this stuff uh, in tiny tim because we dump it at um, the other land because maybe in the future I can uh, create a, uh, a ramp for, the, um, for a car or a tractor to go down. Sort of the, con the base construction for a road. <laughs> and I get rid of this stuff. So yeah, let me show you uh, what we're cleaning up. Man. This is only half the house, huh? So I'm cleaning up here. Wow. Steve-O breaking away. All right. And uh, yeah, this is all the wood we still need to clean up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of good wood we can use in the, in the garden. Maybe for outside kitchen and stuff. Maybe cover for the swimming pool. But yeah, we still need uh, a lot of cleaning up to do. Where are you guys going? Let's dump this shit.
Nice pile of rubble. <laughs> Are you getting in the back, Yasmin? Yeah. No. no. Me neither. <laughs> so um, while I was editing uh, the video, I realized that uh, I didn't show you uh, the insulation material that is still in uh, in the back of the car, and also the lambrim. It's uh, I, we use it for uh, covering uh, the roof from the inside. Uh, let me show you. insulation material it's like uh, bubbles and then um, on both sides it has um, it's aluminium aluminium cover and it's five millimeters that should be very easy to work with also they say that it's um, it's a better insulation than uh, the styrofoam or at least as good as the styrofoam so that saves a lot of room and it's uh, I think it's easy to work with <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> uh, then also got the, the lumber rim. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the boot with the um, tongue and groove. And um, yeah, so we're gonna. Let me show you. So uh, these still need to go, here's going to be the new beam and then here's going to be the rafter and directly on the rafter there's going to be uh, the lambrim and it's going to cover uh, all the way to the top and on that is going to come the insulation and on that is going to come um, first some, uh, some of these things, <laughs> these are the old ones, like this so the rainwater can drop down. And then we're gonna put them on like this for the tiling. Notice the mess they left uh, on the attic here. Yeah, we need to clean all that stuff up too. <laughs> I'll uh, leave you with a clip of me uh, riding the quad bike <laughs> at night. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye. What are you going to do? <laughs> Thank you for watching another video of the Portugal project. If you want to follow the Portugal project more closely, you can also add it on Facebook or add me on my personal account on Facebook or Instagram. See you next time at the Portugal Project.